stop, look and listen. If you're silent, you're not missing the message that I'm giving to you. Hi, my name is Jakub Joel Weinfeld. My name is Leza Halberstam from Borough Park. Before my name was Nakshon, my name was Gus. I had my bar mitzvah at 26 in front of the hotel. I was contacted by a friend on Hanukkah that uh, he's making a party for boys that uh, they are from a secular background. We reached out to a musician and uh, to a few, a few chevre that are very uh, with the good dancers and they all agreed and all came and we reached out to Rabbi Shechta to come speak and everyone volunteered in their own way and everyone was happy to participate and make this party what it ended up being. It was a... I said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the I didn't know what to expect. It was my first real Hanukkah that was uh, something that had a strong base to it instead of a less traditional Hanukkah where there's probably shrimp on the table. And I sit down next to this guy, his name is Gus. As we started to spe speak with each other, we got a little bit acquainted. At the end of the event, we exchanged our phone numbers and I asked him if he would, wouldn't mind coming over to our house for Shabbos. Going to his household is like such an amazing experience. He has these wonderful children who come from a completely different upbringing than I had. I would never think that these kids growing up in, in Borough Park would ever want to even associate themselves with somebody who looks like me. A few days later, Rabbi Ginnig called me that he got a call from a Aish rabbi in college campus in Albany that one of the students that came after the Hanukkah party, he came home and he called his rabbi and he sent him an email and he called him that he, he got a push. He wants to do a bris. His rabbi got flamed and didn't know what's doing over here. I'm, I'm with him already two years and never heard such kind of talking. He wants to do a bris. You know, when I was at the Hanukkah party, I met somebody there who befriended me, Moshe Unger, and he said, you know, maybe we can get together to learn you know, at some point. I was like, sure, well, you know, why not? You know, it's one thing to just be there and, and have a nice, you know, celebration of Hanukkah. It's another thing to, you know, be offered the opportunity to learn. It's good to have people to learn with that, that care about, you know, your, your soul. He tells me that he's just as lucky to have someone like me to learn with. It feels good to know that uh, we as Jews are really able to uh, accept one another no matter where we come from.